Hey everybody, Eric with Solobox. I haven't checked in in a while, so I thought I would uh, make a little video and uh, show you guys what's been going on here. You know, I've put a lot more effort and money back into the shop in the last year. Lots of new tools. Um, you know, first of all, the, the, one of the biggest changes was just putting in these new cabinets that uh, came from my buddy Mike, who works for an oil refinery. These were going to go in the dump and he got his hands on a bunch of them like three different guys ended up completely setting up their shops with nice cabinets uh, because of that situation and uh, for that i'm really grateful because it really made this a lot nicer space um, i guess the next thing i did was this uh, cold cut saw this isn't the same as a, uh, a disc saw. I used to actually have one of those disc saws for cutting steel and I, I gave it away. Actually, I gave it to Mike, but uh, yeah, didn't enjoy that at all. This thing is awesome though. For making pannier frames, this is definitely the way to do it. I don't think I'm gonna keep this stand. I think I'm gonna do something different. I like the working height. It's better than uh, what I was doing with the, the band saw. Uh, I was always hunched over and the cuts were a lot slower. Uh, I did sell the bandsaw and now I'm kicking myself. I kind of, I, I knew before I sold it, I was like, you know what, I'll probably end up wishing that I hadn't done that. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, I'll probably end up buying another bandsaw. You know, I added this break a while back and I've been really disappointed because some of, some of the parts, actually, it, it's a double-edged sword. I love the tool, but I'm disappointed because part of the tools or part of the uh, parts that I wanted to create with this, um, I can't make because of the beam height. And ironically, this thing claims that it can do a two inch box, when in reality, there's only about an inch and a quarter. This is actually angled. And so you don't have hardly any clearance there. So I just bought another break this is this is clarence you got clearance clarence so clarence has got about three full inches and yet it claims to only have an inch and a half so i don't know what the hell's going on over at grizzly but um <laughs> you know i'm making some of my decisions as to what tools I buy based on the specifications that are listed. This tool at $1,800 can't do what it says right on it, it that it can do. And so I just spent another, I think, uh, I think this one was like $1,200. Uh, I just got this, I don't know, like a week ago. And actually coming down from Bellingham, I had this on my utility trailer. We blew out a tire and I was running on the rim and didn't know it. Luckily, I stopped at an exit. I just, I kind of had this weird sneaking suspicion based on how people were going past me on the freeway. They would kind of like swing way out and around me, but nobody like pointed or honked their horn or anything. And I was like, ah, something doesn't seem right to me. It just didn't feel right. So I pulled off and I was actually running on the bead of the tire on both sides with nothing in between. The, the bead held, which is really weird, but there was no tire in the middle between both beads. <laughs> so anyway, I'm glad nobody got hurt. Uh, I added this mill actually uh, two days ago. This is a tool that I've wanted to have for a long time. Uh, just picked up, uh, I'm trying to get this new vice dialed in and everything too. I started working on that last night. This box I bought used off of Craigslist. This is full of nothing but stuff for a mill. I mean, there's just, I got a really good buy on all of this stuff. And so I actually, I got this entire box. Um, I, I paid extra for this box when I went to look at um, this metal lathe, which is an old Atlas. This thing is just too cool. And it came with just Look at all this stuff. I mean, I got all kinds of like star it stuff and clamps and tooling. And this box is full of just all kinds of high speed steel. And it came with a four jaw chuck, a dog plate. It's got the, uh, that's the milling. Uh, you can actually run it as a mill. It's got that. It just came with, you know, tool post thing. Uh, that's for sharpening. Um, 
different stuff. It's an attachment that goes on it. So I got a really good buy on all of that stuff too. So when I went to look at this, I saw this box and realized he had that stuff for sale too. And I knew I was going to be adding a mill soon. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and buy that box as well. So I'm glad that I did that because this thing is just, I mean, all the stuff that like I would have had to have purchased separately anyway. Um, yeah, so I mean, just boxes of drill bits, V blocks. I mean, you name it, just all kinds of stuff. And I need these tools for some stuff that are that's coming up that uh, um, I don't really want to get too much into. But there, there's definitely some other parts that I'm wanting to be able to produce in this shop. So that's kind of part of what uh, this new break is about. But I'm going to be tooling or actually machining some specific parts to go with this tool um, to be able to make that happen. And so that's what this is all about. So I've been sticking a lot of money back into the business in the form of tools. Uh, you know, I've kind of made the shop, it's a small space, but I've been kind of making it modular in a sense by putting a lot of stuff on wheels. I did a video about putting wheels onto Marshawn so that he could be moved around the shop. I bought another set of four of these wheels, which are the same that I used on that. They're gonna go onto this tool this morning. Um, this is a new, actually the, the lathe came with a bench and it was just crap. So I went and bought this box over at uh, Harbor Freight. And I'm really impressed for the money. That's, that's a really nice little cabinet. And so it made for a perfect spot for the lathe to go on. And so it's on wheels too. So it can be moved to wherever I want. This box here can be moved wherever I want. My welding bench can be moved. Um, this is just a, a plain work workspace type of a bench. It's on wheels. Uh, of course, my top box and uh, toolbox, they can be moved around. That's one thing I don't like about this is that, yeah, it can be folded up and it can be wheeled around, but I would like to be able to wheel it around when it's set up. So anyway, that's kind of what's been going on here. It's been a while since I checked in. And so, oh, I almost felt like when I bought the mill, um, it came with this really nice chuck. And I don't plan on doing any drilling on that. Uh, but uh, this Royobi, the only real issue I've ever had with it, it's always been a really good tool to me, but the chuck wasn't very good. And so I went ahead and put that chuck on here. So it, I feel like I kind of got two new tools for the price of one, because that's a lot better chuck. So anyway, I'm gonna build some pannier frames this morning. Asher is at his mom's house. And so I'm gonna kind of take advantage of the situation and build some motorcycle parts. It's, uh, I think it's a Saturday morning. So I'm just gonna hang out out here today and listen to some tunes and build some parts. Eric with Solo Box, I'll talk to y'all later.